A top NATO commander in Afghanistan has denied reports that American troops were ordered to ignore the sexual abuse of young boys by Afghan militias. The denial follows allegations published in the New York Times. In a statement, NATO asserted there was no substance to the reports and that no such policy ever existed. On Sunday, the New York Times claimed in its story, based on verbatim reports from serving troops, that there was a U.S. non-intervention policy employed. In response, the White House has said it's deeply concerned about the allegations. This form of sexual exploitation violates Afghan law and Afghan Afghanistan's international obligations. More broadly, protecting human rights, uh, including by countering the exploitation of children, is a high priority for the U.S. government. We monitor such atrocities closely and have continually stood up for those who have suffered exploitation and denial of basic human freedoms. The practice of bachabazi, literally boy play, which can lead to youngsters being used as sex slaves, is in some quarters an Afghan tradition. It's alleged the blind eye policy was intended to maintain good relations with the Afghan people.